So Airbnb, it's like a bed and breakfast. It's a place to post your lodging online, but the cool thing about it is it doesn't have to be a full house. You can just post your room and you don't really need to have internet or um, running water or sewer. You just have to be transparent of what you're offering in your listing and then people will, will be interested in, in visiting. So it's a great way to um, bring in revenue. I'm Julian Ellica and I'm from Ninana. So my uncle bought a small cabin on Main Street in Ninana and we just thought that it would be a really unique place for people to stay and then a way to make a little extra income in the summertime and it's something that we're looking forward to doing this season as well. It was also fun to invite people into our community and have people from all over the world. I think that was the biggest benefit, just um, getting to meet people. With writing the description, you really, really want to be clear about the sleeping spaces, what utensils people have, because sometimes travelers, they will really be concerned about what kind of food they can make at your home. So that is very important, I think. If they're really descriptive about what the bed situation is like, and they don't say, oh, we have two beds, but one of them's a sofa bed, but you, didn't, you couldn't tell that from the pictures, I think that really helps people when they're making their trip planning. Just making sure that you really are detailed about everything that you do have and everything that you don't, so that you don't build false expectations. Yeah, and I would really say, especially for Alaska, for the clientele that we have or the people that we've seen traveling through our area, they are very interested in making their own food. So having a well-stocked kitchen with all of the utensils, pots and pans, mixing bowls, you know, just having those things available for the type of travelers that you're going to end up getting, that's going to be very advantageous. You really want to make sure there's a lot of light in your photos. You want to make sure that you take them when it's very tidy. You really want to show your, your space at its best. Uh, sunny days are really great to take your photos on Making sure you take pictures of all aspects of the house, including the bathroom. Sometimes people are very curious about that. We also have really good descriptive photos outside of our place so that they can easily see it from the street. So I think that that is the most important with your photos. Interior um, tribes are really interested in tourism because it's a large um, avenue for revenue to come in. People want to visit Alaska. They don't want to just visit like the urban areas like Fairbanks and Anchorage. They want to come out to where um, you know the true Alaskans live. Ecotourism is what we're promoting because that's a kind of tourism that has the least impact on the environment and it preserves natural resources and there's four different specific kinds that will really work in interior Alaska. Nature tourism is for tourists who enjoy and conserve the natural setting with wildlife. Cultural tourism is for tourists seeking history, culture, and tradition of the people of the area. Recreational tourism is tourists who venture to another location to escape routine of daily life, which includes leisure activities. And then active tourism is for the tourists. Main objective is seeking adventure. Not only can you post the lodging, you can also post an experience that you create yourself. So it's designed and led by you. So the sky's the limit. It's super exciting. I fully encourage you to use the service of Airbnb. I think it's a great platform to be able to share your home, your communities, your culture with people from all over the world that are very interested in seeing the real Alaska. So if you're interested in starting an Airbnb, you can contact me, Renee Linton. I work in the Tribal Development Department, and I'll be happy to, to help folks write a description or um, help them through the process of listing.